hello and welcome once again to another blind demo. Fun and games all up in the building today. Uh, new game I guess. It's just ooh, sudden sudden stabs of music. Let's have some. Let's have some large. This story begins where many others generally end. At the time, I worked for a detective agency known as HPD. Okay. They couldn't know then what the acronym really meant. I don't think I am. High polyester douche. For a few months, I'd been on the trail of a man, the press, not very originally named Blowtorch. A clue led me to the extreme outskirts of Miami, in a little out of the way suburb where it smelled like rotten fish. Not a fire, though. Like you might presume someone called Fuck, what is this? Bicycle boy. Do you think he's aware that he looks like some sort of budget Sherlock Holmes? Sounds on silent. The color you have dialed is unavailable. Do you want to leave a message? Bundy, knock it off. Judging from the traffic noise, I'd say you disobeyed my orders. Hey, I just went out for a ride on my bike. What's the harm? At 10 in the evening, I told you to stay home. The case is ours. We're already racing to the scene of the tip-off. But the scene of the tip -off. Here, boss. Let me find one of those clues that Blowtorch left for you. And we'll stop the next murder before you even divorce your third one. I'm on my fourth, Bundy. And I will never understand why that killer keeps leaving clues just for you. Do you need to ask? Because I'm his arch enemy. His nemesis. Okay. More sure. like he enjoys leaving you every time grasping a handful of air. Oh yeah. Remind me again, old man. Who stopped the Puerto Rican surgeon and the arsonist of the southeast coast? And what about the all old news, Bundy? You haven't caught a break for a long time. Big old time. space between uh, months, the apostrophe and Tina. Blowtorch without any results. Why don't you go on holiday and let us do the work? Holy day. That says. Office. Working here is a holiday. I'm serious, Lars. Give it up. How did they spell it right there? I limit myself to a stealth approach. Identify the victim's flat. I write everything down. I smoke a cigarette. I admire the skyline. I wait for reinforcements. No shootout plan. That They're would be flat. difficult since you never carry This is my army. Shouldn't it be an apartment? Once a chick told me that the weapon on my side makes me clumsy. Don't cause any shit, Bundy. No we'll language. Be there in a short while. Okay. That means I have a short while to solve this case. What did you say? Nothing. Bundy, don't screw things up or I swear. At previous crime scenes, we always found a letter addressed to me, abandoned in the mailboxes. This time, maybe, I would be able to find that letter before the crime was committed. But I had to hurry. Okay, well, let's have a look. I looked at the various mailboxes and found what I was looking for. An abandoned envelope with no writing or stamps. The only problem remaining was how to open the mailbox. Smash it. Uh, phone, I've got a badge. It's very shiny, isn't it? This, this art feels very flash animation. I'm not sure how, how much I vibe that. Is there any handy button to... Yes, yeah, spacebar, just like the last one. Fantastic. Trip and fall. Here's what the taxpayer's money was being used for. I thought it was better to leave before causing some serious damage to the site. <sighs> Interesting. That is one hell of a curb. As much as I love wandering around on Green Dart in the middle of the night, I had work to do. Hmm. Work, you say? Bikes don't have a feet to park. Or maybe they do. But I'd have cancelled my own ticket anyway. Clever boy. There's lots of stuff here, isn't there? Go quicker than that, please. The alley led around the building to the right. Before examining the area, though, I had to make sure I was in the right place. Intercoms then? You do. That one's got a face on it. Someone left a stupid smiley on the intercom. I could buzz the whole building without a clue. Okay. Well. It wouldn't help me in any way. Jesus. I could use it to establish the alleged stupidity of J.J. Erham, but nothing else. I love making prank calls. 
But this really wasn't the right moment. <sighs> Nothing else there, is there? I feel like smashing that open. What's different here? Oh, because that's the ladder. The seemed to be the emergency ladder. I didn't need to make the ladder count down. Oh, God. That stuff this is, this like isn't quite as easy to work out as the last one. I know that, because at school I never had the money for snacks, so I picked up those. Okay. Good shit. Well, just the door, I guess. The door was one of those you could only open through an electric impulse. You wouldn't be able to force it open, even if it was a normal model. I've always been a washout as a burglar. Well, this isn't very good, is it? Sometimes, my obsession with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I only games. had a game, the one with the snake that has to eat the dots all scattered all over the screen. I was Classic. complete rubbish in video games. I didn't need to set it. By that time, they were all using those instant messaging programs. Therefore, my message box was constantly empty. Okay, so we have phones more advanced than thirty three tens, just that's what you've got. That damn paid weather forecast service that I couldn't deactivate wiped out all of my credit. I didn't have the money to contact anyone. Anyway. But in return, I knew that in New Orleans there was a moderate rain with winds above the seasonal average. Great. My beloved batch, how much abuse and harassment I was able to accomplish using that simple square of fabric. Ah, those were the days. So, former officer of the Lel. Was it really worth it? I don't know. Can you use it to jimmy that thing open? My badge wasn't exactly the right tool to wedge this open with, but it was worth a try. The only thing I accomplished was jamming the badge into the narrow crack above the mailbox. Good. The badge was so jammed that it didn't move an inch. What about if we look at the intercom and see it now? Eee. <laughs> Good. So I've got I've got nothing to work with. The conditions of that sidewalk were getting worse. The stone bigger than the others just fell off the sidewalk, and who was working it out? Working it out, guys. Gifts from Providence. Plink. Smash it. The way it was stuck, the badge would act as a chisel. Yeah. As usual, the letter was ripped and written with invisible ink. I was sure I had some scotch tape somewhere. Well, I'd have to think about the invisible ink later. Okay. Good. Any tape on the bike? My green dart. A little engineering jewel made in Italy. In addition to being marvelous, it had a handy flask on the front, which I used for basically everything. Normally I would have filled it with scotch, but I didn't want to find myself in Orlando investigating the Red Whale again. Like last what? Time. Maybe there was still something useful in Green Dart's flask. Hey, there really was some scotch after all. Scotch tape. Well, there you go. I would have stuck the scotch tape in the back of the letter. So as to obtain the best ability. I always hate puzzles. Oh, good, right, one of these. That seems right. Uh, that one? Yes. If I have to waste time with this. Oh boy. Yes. I hate this stuff. Horsey boy. More horsey boy. Once I received a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle as a present. I sold it to my nephew. <sighs> I, I, it's not good when the protagonist oh. is bored. It wasn't as difficult as I feared. No, at least we didn't have to rotate anything. I just had to find a way to read the message hidden in the letter. Well, I remember that to reveal invisible way. <laughs> Good question. 
we go around here now. The I feel like we've established. Well, I mean, you just got the letter. Does that not give you a big enough indication? I didn't need to... We can't fuck off to the sides. I, I don't fucking know. Use it with the In phone. Moment, it didn't seem to... Oh, he's gonna wander over before he says, "Don't be stupid." The vending machine's engine emitted a faint heat. Then again, maybe intense enough to show the hidden writing on the letter. Cool. And first, nothing happened. I was about to give up when it happened. <coughs> the first character. Good writing. Was that intentionally stupid? I feel it must have the been. Fucking hell, that's a lot of words. Before. Supportive tone. My parent desired to support the police force, then laced with a sudden temper tantrum hinting at a killing frenzy. I had to dig into this, looking for clues. Okay. The letters were always kindly addressed to me. Deeply disappointed, detected by the incompetence with which you're dealing with the case of the fanatic killer known as Blowtorch. As a citizen, a regular taxpayer, I'm worried about my safety so much that I decided to help you gather your thoughts. Blowtorch's tone ranged from disappointment to encouragement. The barely concealed desire for recognition. What do we know about him then? He's male, of course, just between us and Sissy couldn't create a similar masterpiece, right? Problematic wording. Did you see the accuracy with which the eyes of that poor girl were extracted from their sockets without corrupting the flesh around it? Jesus. Hello, smiley face. The forensic guys had no doubt about the gender of the killer just after the first murder. The reason for their certainty wasn't the accuracy of the burns, so much as the various bruises found on the bodies, which displayed extraordinary force. With a blowtorch, for Christ's sake. The usual outburst in the middle of a letter that until then seemed thoughtful and balanced. Then I saw the emoticon at the end of the paragraph. And I was there. Thanks. Hmm. In his earlier letters, Blowtorch never left anything similar. Well, this time it's a clue to where I need to buzz. left on the letter, and the one on the intercom were identical. Yeah. So I could rule out a simple coincidence. I had just identified the apartment I was looking for. Super. This leads one to assume a certain craftsmanship. Is he an artist? Maybe a painter? As in my last letter, I'd suggest a plumber. Nobody ever thinks of the plumber with all this obsession over butlers. I guess Blowtorch tried to be funny at times. The only result being to appear even creepier. Oh, the mental. last paragraph was surely hiding a clue. The murderer was even directing us to a specific profession. Sure, of course he is. And now we know his initials, I think that would be enough for a detective with a reputation high as a skyscraper like you. Fondly a normal citizen and regular taxpayer. The initials in the last paragraph were found in the previous letter. But they were too vague a clue to narrow down the scope of the investigation. Where are the initials? The usual closing format. Blowtorch constantly described himself as a normal citizen and a regular taxpayer. I don't know why, but that format made me. Sure. Right, well, we got clues. The smiley on the intercom marked the flat to inspect. The apartment, you're in America. The apartment was red. Yeah. Can we, can we do it then? There in time. <laughs> you do. This is where you move. Yes. Who is it? I'm Detective Bundy from HPD. If you don't mind, I need to ask you some questions. Didn't answer immediately. Moments of total silence passed during which I thought we hung up. Sorry for the hesitation, but I really don't understand what you would want from me. I'm just a normal citizen. Yes, of course. But I really need, and I mean really need He's a normal to citizen. Probably his pays his taxes. Too. Come on, guy. In the front door. I hate to be a killjoy, but you have a warrant. I don't want to get into trouble with my landlord. You know what? I guess I forgot it in my other hand. Anyway, I already told you that. Please, um, the landlord is a real pain in the ass. And I he looks like a big guy. If it's such a big deal, you won't have any problem coming back with a warrant. Fucking console, Good isn't it? Looking around for a blowtorch, you know, I'm not seeing one. In my entire career, I have never been mistreated like that by someone I had to protect. Despite the fact that the guy was an idiot, 
Couldn't let him be killed in cold blood. I feel like he's already Besides the killer. The, front door, the only visible way in seemed to be the fire escape above. Right, that let's do that then. Have been the perfect way in, but it was too far. Oh, Jesus. Move the fucking bike. As much as I love. Move bike to there, you climb up now. Maybe in that alley, I would find alternative access to the building. Fucking there we go. What? Sure. Jumping from that roof would be very Hollywood style, but I would have broken my neck. Bro. Even from the roof, I couldn't get to the fire escape. It doesn't look far. What are we doing up here then? Chuck the stone at it? In that moment, I thought of the hundreds of baseball games I'd seen <sighs> in America. And I had a real moment of a pivot. Well, living in America, so what are you British? The were looking at me from the sky, cheering for me and waving their arms. But with an American accent. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Hello. the newest member of the Baseball Hall of Fame, Lazarus Stone Arm Bunny! Uh huh. Give it up for the only, the incomparable, Lazarus Bundy! Hmm. I don't know, there's something about the animation style that I don't really vibe. I don't like the art too much. Nothing against it, it's just not really for me. Puzzles aren't overly complicated. It took me a little while to get going. Lazarus Bundy in my place. Who'd have thought it? Here's my man. All seven foot five of a man to be attacked. Well, so much the better. If things got out of hand, he could protect me. Lazarus Bundy. What are you doing? They still had some surprises in store for you. Ah, oh, instead. It's already time to put an end to our game. Please tell me you can hear this. Oh, Just good. Then, I knew I misunderstood the whole situation. Yeah, you did a bit, didn't you? Things went down dramatically. I had no gun, as always, and I had to deal with a mastodon ready to kill his next victim. Burton would surely arrive with backup shortly after. But, uh, now shortly. Moreover, we were convinced we had to protect the man who instead just revealed himself to be the monster we were hunting. I thought of sending a text. You can, like, me. make emergency I calls for free. My phone, having accidentally subscribed to a live weather service. I was in more danger than ever. But at least I knew the weather was fine in Baltimore. One thing was for sure. I couldn't wait anymore. Cool. Whoa. Trying to use the lamp as a makeshift weapon would have meant walking the entire length of the room twice. If I wanted to die, I could have found a more glorious method, such as jumping out naked after drawing a target on my chest. <laughs> that is true. The beast was busy in a one-sided conversation. All he did was grumble. Apparently he became chatty only when it came time to write me letters. With bare hands, I would barely be able to tickle him. Ballin'. That beast towered over me. But a bottle in the right spot would put anyone to sleep. I had to hold my breath. The slightest noise would betray me. Oh, fuck the windows open. What? How did he not? What the fuck? I guess I had a couple of seconds to, to do a thing there and I fucked it up. Oh, Jesus. Lamp it. I couldn't reach it in time. Snacks. Oh, under the table. Good show. I told you to close that sewer hole, you slut. My, what rude. 
be forced to use more brutal methods than usual. Is that clear? Change the channel right now. I wanted to see how the movie ended. Freeing the girl was going to be way more difficult than that. Well, of course. Just to have gone from the frying pan into the fire. Still got to be the lamp, lamp then. As a makeshift weapon would have meant. Who wanted to die? Oh, there is nothing else. With bare hands, I would bear. The bottle. The bottle's not an option anymore. Nor's the fast food, for that matter. Is the bottle supposed to be still an option? A strong show of authoritative force would have pushed him to withdraw, or maybe it would have led to a beating. The beast was busy in a war. Oh, fuck off. He already had his own, and died. She was gagged and strung up like a sausage, but above all, she was busted. Uh, this further increased my desire to save her. No, of course. Freeing the girl. Showing her my badge would have been pointless. In her situation, she would have accepted a garbage man as her savior. God. Sometimes, my abs. I was all out of I. Yeah, fucking. I know. For a moment. What the fuck? What is happening? Is this actual progression or is this like an Easter egg sort of thing? That would have been a fitting ending for sure. What the hell's going on? What's this dude? Oh, it was an Easter egg. Probably not, no, but I mean, I'm, I've got no fucking ideas left. I thought maybe I could use the mobile phone to lure a blowtorch into the storage room, but how? Chuck it. In that moment, it didn't see. He left the storage room open. Hmm. I just have gone from the. No matter how hard I try. Well. I mean, that's an option, apparently. Oh, please stop clicking things randomly. What's left? That's all I've got. I was all out of ideas. Was it really worth? I feel like I've tried everything with everything at this point. Just go. Bring the girl was. Any hints? I could go for a hint system right about now. Right, okay. I was thinking we'd probably need an alarm later, I just didn't realise we'd need it now. I was desperate and in dire straits. I could do nothing but go for broke. Look what you made me do, slut. Oh god, this guy. I still don't know how you managed to keep from me. Then settle up.
fucking lamp storage room. What the fuck? Stay calm. I'll get you out of here in a split second. This is working. That puzzle was a little bit fucking obtuse. Where did he pull a blowtorch from? That was fucking arse. Just run! Hurry, run! I'll hold him. Will you? That's that's the sound of somebody getting slapped upside their head, that is. This is dark, man. This story doesn't, like, it doesn't suit this art style at all. I mean, the jokes do, but this is really fucking dark. What in the fuck is going on now? That's a good symbol, isn't it? Clearly not read it in a while. Are we done? I guess we're done. Yes, yeah, the so trailer. Let me get this straight. You put yourself on the trail of a dreadful serial killer mm -hmm. who eradicated me from my life and got me involved in a kidnapping case. Is that what we happened? We went up against some dangerous alchemists. We both lost our jobs. Oh, that's we good. We traveled to the other side of the world. Awesome. We broke into a den of murderers. Twice. We I feel like you're spoiling the story with this. Satan's eyes for crying out loud. And now you want to stop because your bicycle is broken? I prefer the term injured. What? The, okay, so there's some really dark stuff, but there's comedy too? I don't know if this works. Yes, we did this bit. Right, well I think this is actually out, so will I play it? Will I play the full version? Yeah, yes I think I will. But, because uh, I just need to know what happened, what, what, more about this weird dark fuckery. I'm not a big fan of the art style or the animation. There's the fucking music's kicking off again. Not a big fan of the art style or animation, I'll be honest. Uh, some of those puzzles towards the end were really fucking obtuse. But, uh, I don't know, we might get stuck a bit, but, yeah, I, th I think, I think I could have, I think I could have some fun playing this. Why not? Fuck it. Until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.